Greetings, Saber fans. It's your old pal, Meg Two Sith. And I know we did our last video on updating to Proppy OS 6.3 with Fernando's edit mode. <clears throat> so just a quick word about this video. This is going to be a simpler video if you just want to update to OS 6.3. But if you haven't been following my YouTube channel, I have beta tested Proppy OS 6.3 on TNC Saber V3. Profi 1.5, Profi 2.2, and Profi Board 3.7. OS 6.3 works on all those platforms. So for y'all out there that have the older Profi Board 1.5s, TNC Sabers, and Profi Board 2.2s, OS 6 works great on those. So tonight, we're going to go back to uh, the Princess Saber. Uh, this was a Christmas gift I made for, for Ella, my stepdaughter, uh, last year. And this saber was programmed on ProfiBoard OS 5.7. And so tonight we're going to upgrade this to Profi OS 6.3, but we're not going to program it with edit mode. We're just going to do the simple upgrade to Profi OS 6.3. Now, just for kicks and giggles and for my own well-being, I am going to add two new fonts to the SD card and see if we can still use the Web USB editor to copy presets. Um, without going into edit mode. So we're going to find that out tonight together. So let's get to work on this baby. The first thing we need to do is take the rear of the hilt off and plug her in. And I'm going to, once I get the rear of the hilt off, there she blows. I'm going to, I'm going to have to untake the, uh, the profi board. I'm probably going to take the battery out too because this profi board is dangerously dangerously close to the hilt in this chassis. Now I'm going to have to untape it so I can access the uh, SD card and the micro USB. Okay. <clears throat> so in Chrome I'm going to open a web browser. It should pop up on Google here. There we go. Alright, Google's up. So I'm going to search for a profi board on Google. I'm just going to go V2, even though we're working on a 1.5 tonight. doesn't matter. I just need to show you some stuff. So if you scroll down on the you know, profi board web page, get to this section. It says, what you need, a profi board V2.2, thin colored wire, thicker colored wire, 3.7 battery, a speaker, and software. I'm going to click on that software page. And we're going to open up that software page. This page, the software page, this is where you download, um, he's up to 6.4, ProfiBoard 6.4 here. Um, so we're on ProfiBoard 6.4. And if you need the default soundtracks, you can download them here. So at the time like the present, since we're on 6.4, I'm going to go ahead and update because I was still on 6.3. When you um, download that file, you'll have a zip file. I'm going to show it in a folder here. And I'm going to drag this zip file here over to my desktop. Just because that's the way I like to do it. And I'm going to extract all these. And it'll probably pop up somewhere down here when it's done extracting. And you see it popped up right there. So she's done extracting. And now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to rename this. I'm just going to rename this 6.4. And then I'm going to put it over here just with my other versions of the Prop OS just because that's the way I am. And I'm going to delete the zip file because I don't need it anymore. And empty the recycle bin. Okay, so we've got the updated version of 6.4. Once we have the updated version of 6.4, what you want to do is you're going to come down here and you're going to open the Prop OS that's within your Profi folder. So I'm opening 6.4 that we just downloaded, opening the Profi OS, and then in Profi OS, you'll see this Profi OS. Now, mine shows Profi OS Eno because I have my file types exposed, but your may just say Profi OS with the Arduino symbol. You want to open that Profi OS with the Arduino symbol. 
It was a little bit slow. All right, so now that we've got our PropEOS open in Arduino within the PropEOS folder, we're going to go down to Tools, and then we're going to go to Board and Boards Manager. We're going to scroll down to Proppy Board, and if you're running 3.6, you should say 3.6 installed. It just ignore the beta there. Yours will just show Proppy Board when you're here. But if you're running 3.6, uh, you won't need an update. But if you run something smaller than 3.6, you should have an update button down here. You need to update your Proppy Board plugin to 3.6. Once you're done updating the plugin to Proppy Board 3.6, we're pretty much there. <clears throat> so here's what we're going to do first. Um, I don't want to open that. What we're going to do is I'm going to close out of this, and I left Arduino open down there. And we're going to come over here to our saver folder. Every saver that I make, I keep a folder about it. And it's got its SD contents. Now I can tell you this, that the mall font on here and the Tano font are, uh, are new additions. Um, those are not on the config file, nor will they be. I'm not going to put them on the config file. But let's go into this config file. And I'm going to tell you this, that for those of you all that watched my last video, um, you saw me delete all my SA22C prop file stuff, which I hate doing that because I have been very loyal to Matt McGurry's prop file. And we're going to keep Matt McGurry's prop file on this saver because I still want it to function with Matt McGurry stuff. So we're going to keep all that on. I think the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take thrust on off because I don't want that. And I don't want force push on this one. Um, so it's just going to have twist on. So here's the config file. This is a Proppy Board 1.5. It does have two blades, um, the main blade and the stock adapter. Ooh, pardon me. It's got two buttons. Volumes on 2200, 144 max pixels. Clash thresholds at two. It does have shared power pins for the stock adapter. Audio, motion, and NeoPixels are enabled. And the SD card is enabled. Now you have my prop file specific defines. Um, these are the ones you have to delete if you're not, um, you know, if you're doing Fernando's prop file. But if you're using SA22C's prop file, it's okay to use SA22C defines. Some of you uh, that were trying to upgrade to Fernando's prop file, if you had SA22C defines in there on my last video, you got to make sure you delete those uh, if you're going to be using Fernando's prop file, or else you're going to create compilation errors. But at any rate, I'm going to keep Matt McGrew's twist on and twist off um, and gesture auto battle mode and lockup delay. And I'm also going to keep all this stuff. But let me go in because I'm going to open one of my other 6.3 prop. I'm going to open one of my 6.3 config files. And I'm going to look at something here real quick because I want to try something. Let's go to Betatran. This enable edit all options. I'm going to add that and see if that allows me to edit the saver in uh, web USB because we're going to pro pro program this for web USB. Uh, this one is not going to be programmed with um, Fernando's edit mode, but it, I'm hoping that this will allow web USB to work in it so that we can edit the saver on web USB which will be pretty cool, because if we can do that, then we're going to add the two fonts I've added that aren't in the config file. Now, this is a 5.7 config file. You can see these aren't the edit mode compliant blade styles, and I don't have a common folder. I don't have any of that stuff. I'm still using the traditional princess, and then tracks wave, princess wave, blah, blah, blah. And then there's two blade styles for each preset, because I have the main blade. So I got princess, general, scavenger, Ahsoka, Ghost, Balance, Loop Jedi, Cross Guard, Balance, TLJB, General, Ahsoka, General is my last preset. So nowhere on here do you see any Darth Maul presets. 
and there was an Ahsoka preset, but the one that I programmed on the SD card is Tano. So we'll just see if we can do it. It doesn't matter. We'll just add them all, and since there's already an Ahsoka one on here. But at any rate, that's the only changes that I'm making to to this was I'm adding this to find number sign define enable all edit options and I'm pretty sure that's going to allow us to use the web USB editor to edit the config file we won't even need to use edit mode or edit mode compliant blade styles and I'm going to save this config file and also by the way folks all these blades are editable in the blade style editor so you know Fernando's current blade styles are not so that's going to be awesome. So I'm going to close out of that config. Okay, so I'm coming back over to our Princess Saver folder and our SD contents. And here's our config file that we just wrote. And I just want to make sure that y'all are clear. I have defined that we're using Matt McGurry's prop file right here in Proppy OS 6.4. Number sign, if def config underscore prop number sign include quote period period forward slash props forward slash saber underscore sa22c underscore buttons dot h and quote number sign end if so we're using Matt McGurry's prop nothing's changing on this prop file other than a couple of defines I took thrust on out of it and we've added this enable all edit options other than that it's all good so we're going to close out of that now, what I am going to do is I'm going to take this config file that we've just made and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to bring it over here to 6.4 in our config folder and I'm going to paste it in here. Princess underscore config dot H. So then I need to come to Proppy OS 6.4 and I need to add in that we want to program this princess underscore config.h. So I'm going to come here to these lines, which if y'all program these property board savers, you know that I need number sign define config underscore file quote config folder princess underscore config.h end quote. My saver is plugged in. This is a property board 1.5, but I've got a property board v2 here, so I need to select Proppy board because this is a 1.5 uh, soundboard. Now, on serial, I am going to program it for serial and web USB. I do have SD access, so there's no need for programming it for all three. I'm going to leave that the same, that the same, that the same port. COM11 Proppy board. Now, if your port on that is grayed out, it means one of two things. Either you don't have uh, the correct data cable or you have not uploaded the correct driver or you've run Zadig more than once um, if you don't have the correct driver. Zadig is a once and done setup deal on Windows. Once you run Zadig once, you should never have to run it again. If you're running Zadig every time you program your saver, what you're doing is you're just putting your profi board in bootloader mode and then you can upload to your board whether or not you can see it in ports. The correct way to do it is get the right driver. I'll link Frederick's video to uh, get in the correct driver in, uh, in the doobly-doo down below this video. So let's go ahead and upload to this saver. And should be in business, I hope. So I'm going to use the magic of the space warp time continuum to accelerate through all this. Bada bing, 71% of program storage space was used which isn't too bad and you can see it's programming the property board this is how easy it is to upgrade the um, upgrade the OS to the new OS um, we didn't have to do anything to our config file the only thing I added was enable edit all options because I want to see if that affects our ability to edit the saver in the um, <clears throat> on the property board workbench which Okay, so the saver is now updated to Proppy OS 6.4. It's that easy, folks. Now, 
here's where it gets into the unknown because I don't know if this is going to work or not. We're about to find out. This is the Teensy Saver editor or the Proppy Board Workbench. I will put a link to this down in the doobly doo, but there it is at the top of the screen. We're going to connect with USB. There is uh, the warning, and you want to highlight uh, Proppy Board and then connect. And there you can see there is, you know, we can, I'm going to, I'm going to share the screen here a little bit where you guys can maybe see this lightsaber. I know I'm covering up some of the controls, but so there's the lightsaber turned on and blast, force down, go to lightning block. And then I'm going to turn the saber off. So that's pretty cool. And then, of course, you can play any of your tracks. Which is pretty awesome. And then on the left is all our presets. stop the track so we're good there now I'm gonna to come to this pencil sign and we're gonna see if we can um, copy a preset so I'm going to what should we copy I'm gonna copy um, princess and how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna come down here and there's a plus sign BAM and then it says do you want to copy the current preset yes I do and then I want to come to this one, and then we're going to edit it. We're going to call this Mall. This is the big kahuna where if we, we're going to see if this is going to work. And then the font we're going to use, let's see if this can read our SD card here. Oh, yeah. Mall. Oh, but it's still going to have to add the common font folder. And we're going to go tracks. Uh, tracks. I thought I put fates on here. I did. Now we can't adjust the colors because they're built in and these aren't edit mode, but we should still be able to adjust the colors on the saver. So Let's get out of this edit mode here, and let's turn the saber on. We should be in the mall font. We are. Let's turn the saber on. Definitely have the mall font plan. So now the question is, I can go into color changing mode and change it to red blade. I'm going to disconnect from web USB. So I'm going to... Let me switch to a full screen with y'all. And here's our new font. I'm going to go into color changing mode. So the big problem is when we advance to this font, you're going to hear font directory not found, but the font is on there. So I guess a workaround on that would be to go ahead and add your common folder onto your SD card. Uh, you just wouldn't have anything in it. But the bottom line is, it works. So we've upgraded this Saber to OS 6.4. <clears throat> we've added a preset using the Web USB Editor or the Profi Board Workbench. And um, that's it. We're all done. It's just that simple. Um, now this is updating a Saber without edit mode. And I've already done a video on upgrading your Saber with edit mode. So I guess the lesson learned in this one, and we're all learning it live tonight because I had no idea whether or not that was going to work. 
is web usb will work as an editor but i still think you're going to have to add that that um common folder onto your sd and once you add that common folder onto your sd this is always like hard to get it to start it threading there it goes thing is also a fingerprint magnet This one still has the SA22C's uh, battery. 3.99 volts. That's pretty awesome. Mono, mono success. Um, I'm pretty happy with this. And once I get the blade plug back in for Ella, I can store the saber back in the room. You guys are all probably wondering how I'm churning out so many videos. <clears throat> I got the vid. So I'm stuck on house arrest. Which really sucks. But. At least I can make some videos for y'all. While I'm here. Bam. Upgraded. Upgraded to 6.4. Just Thank you, everybody, for watching, as usual. I really appreciate y'all tuning in on my channel. And as always...